Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play No Man's Sky. So version 3.0 is now out, Origin. So we're going to play that. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to do a new game. Last time we played was about this time last year actually, which is pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, new update. Well, actually lots of new updates since we played. We played in Beyond, and then they had the Synthesis, Living Ship, Exomech, Crossplay, Desolation I believe it was, and Origins. So they've had a lot, and I mean a lot of content since we played. So we're going to start fresh here, check out uh, what the game has. Uh, from my understanding, it has so much content. We're talking about like billions of new planets and new landscapes and new visuals and new content and features, you, you name it. And that was just in Origins, and all the other ones, of course, added up to that as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Crossplay is quite interesting too. I guess now they have one big universe from my understanding. So I think that's pretty cool as well since... Uh, uh, we uh, in the past it was just uh, you'd play with PC gamers and uh, you know Xbox would play with only Xbox so I think the idea of having one big I mean the universe is big enough right obviously so um, having everyone you know on one it looks really cool wow look at the trees here this looks beautiful mosh up major we're on the mosh up planet <laughs> there we go Look how cool that is. So those who are into Dual Universe, I'll be doing more videos in the future. Um, I'll probably be doing some more videos on like, you know, exploring, checking people's places out, doing like little, you know, quicker videos on things like that. We'll do more content videos on what we do as well. But right now things have gotten a little stale a bit in the game right now. The market's kind of, mm, things need to settle a bit more obviously. So, and we need some more updates. So. Uh, obviously, we're going to do more content on that in the future, but I uh, just want to let you know we're, we're not giving up. There you go. We got lots of things coming up this uh, this next month or two. You know, we're going to do some World of Warcraft. You know, we've got lots of things I want to do. So looking forward to that. Shadowlands. So look at this plant. Look at this. This is pretty beautiful. I just love looking over. You can see, you know, the belts of a planet or this planet and just... How it looks like when you look over there. It's like this world is not flat. It's uh, the bowl. You go up and there's the end of the world. I want to check this out. Oh, look at how cool that is. It's like living in a little fairy tale here. Okay, so uh, let's see what we need. We need to do a scan. So we can't do a scan because, yeah, there you go. Scanner is damaged. So we need to go and get ourselves some ferrite. So let's mine some iron here. And then we can do some basic scanning and all that fun stuff. And then let's see what was this ferrite? Oh no, this is pure ferrite. So you need a, a special blaster for that for later on. So let's run over here. There's probably some ferrite over here, I'm guessing. Yeah. Awesome. And then do we have enough for that? No, we need a bit more. Let's check this out. We need to, oh yeah, we need the scanner. I was like, I, I need to charge my thing, but we need the scanner first. Let's get some more. I think these little guys are iron too, right? Yeah, there we go. That's a little creepy. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and fix our scanner here. There we go. And then we should be able to use our scanner now. So something over here. I just realized all this was here. Did we start with that or? Cold there you go. And then I think you can middle mouse get rid of that. Yeah, there you go. Because you don't want to hold rust on you. There we go. And then we can go ahead and repair this with the little sodium we have. And then let's run over here and get some more sodium. There you go. And investigate your surroundings. Well, I actually want more sodium, so. I see some O2, which is great. You need that for your health and stuff as well, but I need more and more sodium. I guess we can go ahead and uh, grab some O2 as well. Scanner charging. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... You know what we need? I think we're going to need some carbon, but uh, let's grab some of this. I guess it's getting dark out, huh? Out. 
I guess when the planet has lots of trees, it's easy to get carbon, huh? Yeah, our suit ain't liking us right now. I'll get you some more sodium. Oh, we, we picked up some sodium. That's right. We want more, though. There you go. Here's more over here. So the first, uh, you know, couple days of gameplay, obviously, you, you know, you're trying to survive. So oh, you need an Atlas Pass on that one. So let's remove this. There you go. And then you got some sodium out of that. Awesome. Some carbon out of that one. And obviously there's some sodium over here. There you go. Now we'll be able to visually fix our screen a bit more. <laughs> There you go. Let's get some more carbon. So what we're going to do now is let's actually fix our uh, scanner. I believe the scanner was, uh, or the visor, I believe it is. Oh, yeah, we have to craft the visor. So you can click in your general. You can craft nanotubes. You can go to your multi-tool. You can go and create a visor. And then you use the carbon nanotubes to get that working. There you go. And then you can use your advisor. And then you can scan all the different stuff around here, which you get credits for, which is pretty cool. And then you can actually submit it later on, and you get, uh, I guess I can't get that guy because he's uh, in a weird spot. But then you can uh, hand that in, and you get nanites and things like that as well, so that's pretty cool. Hello. Will it work even if he's behind that? We'll see in a second. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think they have a better lock-on system than they used to, so... I think that happened even for Beyond, to be fair, but... I guess we're not going to get that one there. Oh, there's some... Oh, yeah, don't shoot those guys. I don't think they would like you shooting them. There you go, scan a creature. I think you get a bit more for creatures. Yeah, 1,000, so it's not too bad. Not a ton, but... Looks like there's more uh, stuff over here. Look at all. Whoa, what the heck is all this? Lots of Atlas. Uh, they're all Atlas, I think, when they're those ones. So, yeah, it looks like uh, the the world's a little bit more rewarding now, loot wise and stuff, which I like. It gives you your exploration and just running around a bit more fun. Unless it's just because it's our starting spot. I'm not sure. Okay, so reach the mark signal. Let's find the signal. It's going over here. Okay. I think that's where our uh, vehicle is, so our ship. Let's go for a little walk here. Frost crystals, huh? Does that drop now for us, or is that uh, it's green? I don't know what that means. I don't know if we need a different tool, or there's a chance they drop as a secondary. Oh yeah, secondary. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I used to farm the frost crystals for, was it their value or did I need it for something else? It might have been just used for something else. Very cool. We already opened that stuff. Okay. That's a plant, by the way. So yeah, for those who might be newer to No Man's Skies, what is No Man's Skies? It's basically like... Minecraft and space in a sense. I said that happens so often. What's dual universe? Minecraft and space. What's space? Uh, Empyrean. Uh, Minecraft and space. I think that term is getting overly used in a bad way. So dual universe is pretty much a massive procedural uh, sandbox. I guess in a sense you could almost say an MMO these days. Uh, just because it is like if you go in the same system of another player, you can actually see them stuff like that these days. But um, basically a big, huge RPG sandbox game where you can build, craft, uh, you know, unlock new technology. So, you know, it has that RPG element for sure in it. Um, basically, you can dig in the train. My, my current tool, I don't believe, can do that. You need an upgrade later on. But uh, basically, it's a uh, all-in-everything, you know, sandbox game. I think one of the biggest features of it is the exploration. Uh, there is no other game out there that you can explore basically like it because, well, basically, it's a, a massive universe with, like, is it billions or trillions? I think it's in the trillions of uh, star systems. Or, not star systems, but planets and stuff like that. Uh, just the update in Origins, which was the update that came out just today, that alone apparently added billions of new planets and very unique-looking planets and things like that. And all in their updates, they always add. They always update and add new features and content to the game. So it's basically pretty much 
in a, in a sense to me it's almost like an MMO you know I know it, you know other people would be like yeah but you know when the definition of MMOs used these days this one definitely has at least the the more legitimate way look at these guys they're the same ones that we scan but bigger is he behind oh they're, they're far away I guess so there we go so we get lots of oxygen which is oxygen is good uh, oxygen is used for health but the uh, this other stuff we need for uh, hazard like that right there. Actually, that's not even lit up. What the heck? Oh, these are the bulbs, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. These are something else. Should we go and get that or ignore it? Let's go get it, I guess. We're kind of running low, so I might as well grab it. We I like how dense the stuff is here. Okay, so here's a, a little shortcut you can do. Um, different, obviously, on consoles. I think you have a button, too, that lets you do it. But if you hit X, and then you can go here. So we want to do yeah that, and we're going to do hazard, and there you go. Uh, we can go back here, and then, okay, let's do life support. There's that. There you go. So it just lets you do it a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to talk to this little uh, distress beacon. So, uh, boundary separation failure likely. Okay, cause they like using 16, don't they? Deliberate uh, transfer, analyze, freshen, okay, normally contained, broadcast, traveler normally detected, normally is compliant, position logged, system integrity scan initialized. There you go. And then I think we can visit our ship. Now our ship probably has a lot of damage to it. Let's actually loot this stuff for fun. There you go. And we'll get rid of that. Excellent. There you go. And, uh, oh, look at this. What do we get in you? We used to have to repair those sometimes, but did we? I forget. It's been so long. Get some nanites. Nothing exciting, but that's cool. Nice. Uh, the Atlas, those containers here with the Atlas, you can earn that Atlas pass later on, so that's not a big deal. We'll, we'll eventually get to that, so. There you go. So, we're going to do sh Starship uh, Auto Diagnostics, uh, Atlas Connection. Uh, okay, intermittent. Launch thrusters are offline, pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped, in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of before, of a before. Uh, but this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. And so you can uh, read the log here. So log, unavailable. Okay, so that was kind of <laughs> exosuit connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance. Okay, so repair sh ship systems. So self-guided repair protocols. Okay, so pulse engine. So you need hermetic seal and metal plate. Okay. And uh, yeah, so let's get out of here. So let's go to our inventory here. I think we can make the metal plate if we have enough. Yeah, here you go, metal plate. There you go. And uh, repair, okay, so we go to our starship here. Pulse engine, click the plate, there you go. And that was done, okay. I think we have to go back in here or no? Yeah, boarded. Okay, so partially complete. Um, okay, functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. So we're going to request some assistance here. Uh, and there you go. Reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from a distress beacon cache. Okay, so let's do that. So repair the pulse engine, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then this thing... Oh, we have to go back to the distress beacon for that. Okay, I peer inside the beacon housing as well as distress bro broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. So take the chart. Okay. Uh, so planetary chart, recover. Okay, so I think this is something new. Did they come out with this and beyond? I'm not sure if I really used them. I don't really remember too much. Or is it kind of an update after? I think it did come in beyond. But anyways, uh, so we're going to plot a route...
There we go. So it's kind of close by. Oh, I mean, it looks close by, but I mean, you have to think that's quite zoomed out. So you have to go through a forest all the way over there. So maybe not as close as it looks, you know. So if you have a bad storm, watch my uh, my uh, negative 62 right there. Watch this. So it goes down. So if you're having issues and there's a bad storm out, getting undercover, like in a building or even going into a cave, is a great way to save your hide, basically. So just a little tip for those who might be new. And to be honest, I'm going to forget a lot of things, too. I'm kind of a newbie now again because it's been a year, so... Hazardous flora. Let's run over here. I don't think I've ever seen trees down here unless it goes outside. No. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? I don't think I've ever seen the trees like that and underground like that before. So these, I mean, we could collect some of these. These are just ingredient for something, obviously. What are these guys? Oh, too close. Oh, you can... Oh, hazmat gauntlets required. So if we had hazmat gauntlets, we could actually do something with those guys. But unfortunately, we can't. But Oh, no, you can get sodium from mining them. Ah. And I guess you could pick them if you had gauntlets instead. Look at that. Lots of sodium anyways. This is exactly what we need, so... As your tool heats up, uh, it does a bit more damage. Oh. So how do we... What do you require again? I forget. Carbon. That's easy. So yeah, as your weapon or your tool heats up, it'll actually do a bit more. So you let it cool, but you don't want it too cold if you want to continue mining for a bit. But I was trying to... Min max it there. Oh, I'm not hitting the right thing here. Just kind of running around like a noob now. Ah. Let's kill it before it kills us, huh? There you go. <laughs> we kind of hurt ourselves a bit there, but it was fun. Wait, so weren't, weren't we supposed to get lots of sodium out of there? Oh, no, there's more sodium. Oh, you know what it might have been? It might have just been what you had. Oh, okay, what you needed, I guess, was showing up. I was like, uh, I swear I had more than that. Okay. Now there's a storm. Let's check out the storm here. Storms could get pretty bad, though. Usually you hide in storms, but let's, let's check it out. Oh, hello, guys. Oh my goodness, look at this storm. This actually looks epic. Lightning and everything too, that's awesome. Took a bit of damage there on my shield for jumping down, but... I know you shouldn't get much, but it'd be kind of cool if you get like a slight amount of protection, like even a 10% or a 20%. Uh, a bit more protection when you're in the tree, like a covered area like this. It'd be kind of just a weird, you know, just a weird idea. Then again, technically, if you're in a really bad storm, um, you could be whipped and hit with uh, the trees, right? So it could cause some damage. Ow! Let's scan you, evil little plant. There you go. Okay, so where are we going over here? Yeah, so I'm hitting Q and space at the same time to kind of My timing's not the best. I used to be really good at this, but basically to make my Whoa, what is this? I don't think I've seen one like this before What's well, like a food or something frozen tubers? Uh, I think that's related to the food system they got in the game. The creature is having a bit of a bouncing fit. Let's scan his ass. Oh, did you just see that? I swear. I saw another one. 
There's meteor showers now in the game. That is so cool. I want to get hit by one. Maybe not, but... There legitimately is meteor showers. Oh my goodness. That is so freaking cool. I wonder if it's like a nighttime thing only. Like, hey, you only see them at night, so, you know. That is so cool. Okay, so we're at this place. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the meteor showers. That's definitely something new. Okay, let's go over here. Go in here first. Somebody's left this messy. These usually give nanites, but I guess right now it's giving us a quest item. Entry follows. Um, no one making this recording in case uh, leave behind and fabricator might uh, be of some use. Visor damage. Can't find ship. The log finishes and the machine whirls to life, spits out supplies. I have a hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they uh, found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Cool. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Uh, we saw this. Let's check the damage machinery. So we'll get rid of that. And let's see what we got here. We got some more nanites. I love nanites. Oh, universal. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so this is like it basically. So there's a bunch of races in the game. So you can learn their language uh, basically with this universal uh, language database. But you learn words by talking to them too. And there's other ways that I believe as well. So through like relics or something like that. Very cool. Is there anything, is there one of those, I don't see one here. This is loud, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Can I interact with that? Uh, analyze objects for rewards. Okay, we, we do that all the time, but we can try to do another one. There you go. There you go, <laughs> locate your starship. Um, I already see it though, so I don't know if it wants me to. I think it may basically it's just saying go to your starship. But I saw saw one of those things over here. I wanted to see. Can I see it with this? It's a gear, so maybe you can see them. Yeah, there it is. Oh, let's scan this guy. There's another uh, damage machinery, so I thought I'd go check it out. Uh, there's all the other ones as well underground. Let's grab this. Can we? Yeah, there you go. Ethereum. There's other uh, things underground. I wanted to show you where they were. Oh, these here. These guys. Buried technology. So if I recall, these were worth getting, but it requires a better tool. Like, my current tool can't dig, I don't believe, right now. So um, I can't get it at this time. But later on, I can dig down to it. And uh, I believe the technology is actually needed for certain things, for crafting and whatnot. But uh, it also has a decent value as well. So, oh, offer food. Do I have any food? He wants pellets. I don't have any pellets for him. Oh, Another time, my friend. Another time. There you go. I do feel like the loot is a little more than I remember. Like, not the amount of loot I get per, uh, you know, thing I open, but more like... Overall, I'm being rewarded more by walking around and checking things. I don't feel like I used to get rewarded this well, but I could be wrong. It's been a while. I love the graphics. Really beautiful. Give me a second. I want to figure out how to go back into first person. I never usually play that way, though. Okay, so I think it's in... Okay, X and then utilities. And then... Okay, swap. Change secondary weapon. That's cool. That's new, I think. Toggle camera. Oh, there you go. So now you can do the first person view. Whoa, this feels so different. I know pl people play this way all the time, but I prefer the third person myself, but... It can be pretty horror, you know, style doing it this way. And then you go back to X, and you can go back, and I guess all the way to there. There you go. Cool. I just wanted to see how you, you know, change it from first and second. And by the way, the escape menu here has a lot of detail. So uh, I guess they wanted us to check the guides out last. So um, they talk about survival basics, some great, you know, information here. You can check all these out for basic guides. 
And uh, then you got your options, obviously. And then you got your log here. So what we're working on right now, we're returning to the ship. You got your milestones. So every time you do different things like walking on foot a lot, you know, once we hit, you get 8,000 you, you know, you get uh, basically these little milestones, things like that. And then your life forms, the Gek. So uh, standings, you know, even words learned. Uh, so we did learn the Kovex, was it? No, who was it? Oh, this guy. So we learned one of their words. So we have one point in this. If we learn four more, we've you get like a rank up on this. Um, there's merchant guilds and things like that too. These are pretty cool. And then you got your catalog. Now I believe, I don't know how this works, but I believe this shows things that you've personally never seen before in your plays. So I've never seen whatever the heck this is and the, whatever this is. This might be new or might be things I've never discovered in the past. And so I think that's kind of the idea is eventually you'll, you'll unlock these and you'll know, learn these things. So I think that's pretty cool. And then you got your discoveries themselves, which obviously, like right now, you know, when we explore a planet, land on a planet itself, it's a discovery. If we, you know, get flora or, uh, or fauna, those are discoveries. Uh, the fauna gives you extra points. If you discover all the fauna on a planet, you get extra nanites. So uh, when you scan these or when you hand them in, you get like five nanites, so, you know, meh, whatever. But when you hand all of them in, so, you know, all seven of them, um, and complete them, you get 350, which is a nice big chunk. So you get a big bonus on that. And obviously, every time you scan a creature, you also get a bunch of credits as well with that. And you can upgrade that later on with a bunch of tools and things like that. And you can even update the whole planet. Now, this probably ain't going to work right now, mostly for the fact that... Um, you, you've lost connection to the discovery server. This will happen for the next probably couple of days, few days, weeks, whatever. This is all because, you know, this update's big. You know, the hype is in. And I have never, ever seen them do a big update. You know, like a 2.0, 3.0, or even pretty much any update out there. And not have the discovery server basically crap on them. So, it always happens. But uh, later on, the discovery server will come back up. And then uh, you'll be able to save that, uh, send that. So you won't lose anything. The only thing is if you're playing with friends, I mean, technically if another player comes to this world, lands on this planet, scans these, and then submits them before I do, technically that can happen. Uh, if you're playing with friends though, then there's a higher chance that they'll, they'll do it before you because if the discovery server is down right now, okay, you ignore it. But let's say in three hours it's up, but you're sleeping and your friend is on and he goes and submits it, even though you're cooperatively playing. Unfortunately, he'll get the discovery. So it's not a big deal, obviously, but I'm just letting you know kind of how that discovery system works. So basically, it's whoever submits it first gets, you know, the thing. But the chances of another player starting on this planet, etc., is... As far as I know, it's an insane, you know, number-wise, so it's not going to happen. You don't have to worry. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, repair the pulse engine on here. There you go. And then there you go. So we got that done, and oh, we need to uh, do the launch thruster. So launch thruster, okay, so we need to repair, blah, blah, blah. So let's do that now. We'll give it some jelly. There you go. I think we might even, okay, repair it with pure ferrite. So I think this is actually when we do, is it going to tell us? Oh, yeah, use the constructor. So I think you use Zed. Yes. And you can't place this because it needs metal plating and oxygen. So if we go over here and make a metal plate, which we can't because we don't have enough iron. Oh, that's the heavy iron. There you go. Ferrite, by the way. I always say iron, but FE. There you go. So if we go ahead and place the metal plating in here, hit Z, places down, we can then refine the iron. Now I need more uh, iron, unfortunately, to refine, but basically we're going to make ferrite uh, dust into pure ferrite, I believe, dust. I don't know if they still call it dust, but... It's interesting they call it dust, but they come in clumps. It's like they should... I don't know what kind of word they can use, you know, chunks or... I guess technically you don't even have to call it anything. You have to give it fuel as well. And then you do your input here. So we're going to do our ferrite dust. And we'll begin. And we only needed 50. So if you want, you could stop right at the... There you go. You can do that, I guess. Is that to set it to right at a 50? I'm just playing around with this. There you go. Oh, there you go. 
Because if you don't want extra sitting in inventory, right? And I believe if you middle mouse this, you get your fuel. Yeah, carbon 99, pure for Okay, yeah, yeah. I lost the condensed version, apparently, but that's a, not a big deal. And then I guess, do you get it in your suit as well? Oh, yeah, so you have a refinery all the time in your suit now. So let's go to our starship. Let's go here. And there we go. Got some ships flying over. Hello. Now, when I was walking to this, I saw something, and I don't even think I went to it. I ignored it, and now it's too late. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we can go to our ship, and we can fly, I guess, now. So, use W to take off. There you go. So you can hold W to move around. Awesome. And then you can use your AD to... We flip? Oh yeah, there you go. Very loud, huh? Best part is I don't even have the sounds that loud, but they're, they, they get loud. The, the sound equalization in video games are never always the best, you have to admit. It's just like, sometimes it's too loud. Look at that, 30. I doubt that's gonna change it much, so. We'll just have a bit louder here. Very cool. So we can fly around. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we didn't get it anyways. Um, so we can scan, right? C, there you go. Okay, so there's, uh, that's nothing too exciting. Oh, I hit E anyways. We're landing. I gotta get used to not hitting E accidentally. You use E so often in other games that it's just, it's kind of habit. There you go. So let's see if I can find whatever we saw there. Was that it? I think so, yeah. So you can tag it. We're a little off, but uh, hopefully it's not like underground. Does it go down in a valley or, oh, it is underground. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Kind of like the more underground biome like this and I've seen it now twice. That's really cool. I don't know if I've just had bad luck with certain planets, or this is kind of more of a newer thing. Oh my. Producing blah blah blah. I see two large alien eventually blah blah blah. Okay. So accept knowledge. I guess this is teaching you new words. So you learn the word interloper. Okay. Very cool. So that's kind of the stuff you, you explore and find, obviously. <laughs> Might as well grab this while we're here because there's some sodium here. Oh, yeah, this, this is an actual ore ore. So we get this later on, but you need, yeah, terrain manipulator. That's what it's called. So we'll get one of those in the near future, and that'll let me uh, be able to dig, and that'll help us out quite a bit, so... Oh yeah, look at all this sodium. It's like Christmas time for sodium. There you go. There you go. I just realized, oh, it might be... Oh, here's some ships here. So where are they going? If you follow them, they might lead you somewhere? Now you could shoot them. I don't want to do that, but I'm just showing you the guns here. That would probably piss off the sentinels, cause other guys to shoot at you, and not worth it, obviously. But uh, yeah, so if we go this way that they're going, there there's a chance we might actually find something this way. But they might change their view. Oh, look at this. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this has a landing thing. See how it turned green? So if I recall, when you get those guys, you get like free takeoff and landing in a sense that you can take off and um, not use any fuel. So even though we have no fuel right now, if we were to take off, we should not we should be able to take off basically. And then you got, this is a big like destroyed freighter, I guess, that crashed here. So I guess that's the ship's name. Read the log. Life goes on day after day, delivering below. Hope you get home soon. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm multiple sentinel energy signatures detected. Require immediate. Blah, blah, blah. 
dropping out a warp. Their sentinels, what are they doing? Fighting each other. Sentinel ships are engaging each other. Ignoring us for now. That's cool. The sentinels appear to have departed. They are distress signal nearby, broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. I guess that's all we get. <laughs> um, let's scan this for fun. Oh, it tells you the available resources on the planet too. So frost crystals, copper, di dioxide, and magnetized ferrite. So some of those are special. So these things, basically what happens is I believe these have, yeah, little cargo pods here. So you can gather them. Some of them, I think, I, I think you have to unlock them. But some of them are going to be buried. Maybe they're all buried. So this might be harder for somebody like me, obviously, to partake because I don't have all my tools yet. Like, okay, so this is steel reinforced. I can break that. But I have to probably dig down for the container. There might be one over here, though, potentially. But the point is I'm going to miss out on some of them because of... Oh, look at it. Structure entered. Oh, that's cool. What are these? I guess just plain containers. I don't think I've seen containers like this before. So here's a cargo thing. Okay, so master circuit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damage component. Magnetized ferrite. So you actually need magnetized ferrite, for example, to get that. Which, that's one of the items on this planet. But I'm not sure if that requires a special tool to pick up as well. So it's not our luck today because, you know... Usually you'd find these and you'd have your train digger and all that fun stuff. So that'll be in the future, but uh, pretty cool anyways to check out these crash ships. And uh, anyways, yeah, I think that's it for this episode. I'm having a blast here. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And uh, yeah, next episode, we're going to go to the stars. We're going to check out what's there. So I heard a weird, crazy noise. Looks so beautiful though. But yeah, next episode, we're going to go to the stars and uh, we'll check what's up there. So anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we will see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>